Amen. Traditionally, the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10, is a scripture verse utilized in homily, utilized in sermons and biblical teaching lessons for the purposes of exhortation and encouragement of the believer. The basis of nearly the entire first half of John chapter 10 was the Christ explaining his definitive role as the literal bridge between mankind and salvation. The Christ summarizes his objective purpose in verse 10 of chapter 10 when he states, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. However, the possible point of contention this morning, which also serves as the key to unlocking the power of the message that the Hamashiach, the Christ, was relaying at that time, which has been preserved subsequently over millennia, so that even we now could benefit from it, is the question of who exactly, pray tell, was the thief in verse 10. All of my life, I've heard both laymen, ordinary individuals, as well as a majority of clergy simply assume and conclude in their interpretations and use of this verse that the thief, beloved, mentioned in John chapter 10, verse 10, was in fact high Satan, the devil himself. And it's not difficult at all to see why most people would come to that conclusion, seeing that the very etymological origin of the term Satan literally means adversary in the Hebrew. So the thief, quote unquote, as it were, would represent the adversarial elements in our lives that are working feverishly to block and prevent us from reaching success and standing in accomplishment. Some of y'all are like,